Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to some of y'all and peace out to the rest of you. Hit the share button because the message is more important than the messenger. So with that being said, um, this message is about war, but it's not directed with any hostility it's not, to my normal audience. I'm talking to my normal audience. And, uh, I don't have any hostility towards you. You've been supportive. And may Allah bless you for it and reward you. But I do want to give you an update about or a heads up about some hostility. Um, so I haven't mentioned the Ukraine and Russia and largely because I tend to take a wait and see approach before I start mentioning things that, um, I'm not well versed on and the Ukraine and Russia is a situation worth us monitoring, of course, but I'm not sure that either one is really a friend uh, of our people. Admixed or unmixed. I don't think they really I don't think either one's a friend the Ukraine we already know has uh, or some of the Ukrainian militias that are fighting against the Russians have ties to neo-Nazis but I mean the Russians don't particularly care about us and, and care for us maybe they're nicer to us than the Ukrainians are that could very well be the case I, I don't know but right now, I'm not going to sit up and take sides. I will respect the bravery of the Ukrainians because they're the ones that are outsized um, in this particular fight. And they seem to be putting up a pretty staunch advanced resistance. Um, that is the case. And I'll give them credit for that. Um, but this is their problem. I'm not going to forgive them for the stories I hear coming out of the Ukraine from people from the continent um, because for the people from the continent say they're being singled out and maybe they are. In any case, what I wanted to talk to you about are the Western misandrists that are on social media platforms trying to goad American men into traveling to the Ukraine to fight. Now, they want to go to American men primarily, but they don't mind goading Western men in general. And they're going to call you masculine. They're already doing this, trying to call you masculine in the question. How come you ain't over there fighting for them? And what I want you to remember is that. The woman that wants you. Wants you to be a man, but she doesn't want you to die to prove your manhood. That's the woman that wants you. Hell, that's the woman that respects you. The woman that does not want you wants you to die to prove your manhood trying to acquire something else for her that she wants. If she wants something else but does not want you, then she wants you to die to get that other thing she wants. And if she hates you, she just wants you to die. Now, how do you know which woman is which? Well, let me remind you of something. One, we already know about the 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 the. Women that are beyond divestors. Divestors just want to leave bros alone. But we know about the women that are beyond that. They say that we're bullet bags and we're gorillas and the police can't kill us quickly enough. Now, those are women that hate you. They don't want you to die trying to acquire anything for them. They want you to die. Do you remember in middle school? And this is if you were my age. If you're now in your middle 40s. Remember three decades ago in middle school, there were those girls that liked to take arguments between guys and turn them into fights. And they would like to even so much as push the smaller guy into the bigger one just to see a guy get thrashed in a fight for which he wasn't looking in the first place. You, know, you remember them broads, real messy, ratchet. We didn't call them ratchet back then, but you remember them. If a lady reminds you of that chick in middle school, then she just wants you to die. That's hatred, serious hatred. Beware of them. If you can identify one of them, then be wary of working with them at a job site. Duck, be invisible. One reason I tell men to go ahead and improve yourself um, for your own good and better yourself for yourself is because you want to be invisible. So keep in mind, when these 
Other guys talk about self-improvement to get the bad chick. One thing about the, the, the woman you really want is that she also, while she should be attractive to you, she also does not look for attention. That wouldn't revel in it, would actually rather not have too much of it. This is important to understand. Because she's, if you do couple up with someone, you can remain invisible with her to the other messy ratchet broads. A woman that's not going to let you remain invisible to the others is not the one you want. And the ones that are sitting up trying to goad you into doing things that will get you killed unnecessarily in a fight that's not even yours or in an argument that's not a fight. Especially when she has nothing to gain from it, as many of these Western women that are trying to goad the men of their own nationalities to go to the Ukraine have nothing to gain from this conflict. Then that's when you know they hate you. They just want you dead. Now, some would say, yeah, but I don't know these bras. Why would they want us dead? Well, see, they're, see a lot of them are so bitter and angry uh, from what they've been taught, from stories they've heard from their friends, or even just from their own arrogance. They're so bitter and angry that if you are a man that does not turn them on, then the best thing for you to be is a man that they don't notice. Because either they don't notice you or you are their type or they notice you, but you're not their type, in which case they hate you and they want you dead. And maybe if they can gain something from your death, even better. There's some of them so bitter and angry that they hate the men they don't want except for the ones they don't notice. I understand that. I mean, I can see that even from over here. Now, how many of them you walk by in real life, I don't know. I haven't lived there in eight years. And some change. But online, I can see them because I see what they post. You have a better idea than I do as to how many of them you pass by, how many of them you walk by in real life. I take your word for it. What I want you to understand is that you're walking by them, whatever the numbers are. And that I can see them online, they're that visible. So they do exist. And at what type of, how much of a danger they are, the severity of the danger is something you can assess better than I can. But one thing we can both say is that it's not a shrinking danger. The severity of it is not lessening and decreasing. It is either staying the same or it is increasing. But you gotta know they're there. Because you gotta be able to warn your younger brothers, your sons, your nephews, your younger cousins about this. And you understand this, your wives, your baby mamas, your aunts, your grandmoms. Your lady relatives are not gonna want you to warn your young male relatives about the existence of this threat because merely acknowledging the existence and telling these men about it will mean that these ladies are going to not have, even the ones that don't hate men but still like to use them, are not going to have as ripe a population for being used. This bothers them. You tell your cousin, your aunt don't want you to tell her, even if she knows it's true. She don't want you to tell your cousin because your young cousin, see, if he knows that this type of hatred is out there, then he's ready for the other things too. Things that are less severe, more easy to exist, he knows they must be there too. So he's going to be more difficult for a stranger to use. But what this means is that it, when, when it reaches down to those ages, this means that the men that are older, that are not related to you, that these ladies would love to, your aunt would love to use, your baby mama would love to use, your mom might love to use. So she don't want you telling your younger brother, your grandmom might love to use, so she don't want you telling your cousin or maybe a younger uncle. Those men that they want to use are more likely to be aware if the young guys who with less experience are unaware, and this bothers them, they would rather, you must understand, they would rather these young relatives of theirs be ripe for the use, ripe for being used exactly in ways these ladies don't ever want men using them. They would rather that so that they have a shot at finding a man to use than to have the male relatives be up on game. And the, here's the thing that goes worse than that. These misandrists that are making these posts about why ain't you in the Ukraine fighting, don't know you. 
don't know me, don't have anything to gain from this conflict when they're posting from the UK or the United States or Canada. Mostly from the states because the states are an ally to the Ukraine. They don't have something to gain from this. So when they say this, they're not even trying to use you. They're just trying to get you killed. But that level of hatred, though I don't know the full extent of its availability or the rate amongst the population in which uh, it manifests, I know what's there, you know what's there, and to tell your young male relatives about that level of hatred, that takes care of a lot of other things. Because if they're ready for that, then they're ready for lesser levels of hatred. Ideally. And it is important for them to be ready for that. Because if they know that there's some ladies who just want them to die, then they're gonna know that there's some other ladies somewhere that would prefer that they die acquiring some benefits for these women. So either way it goes, logically speaking, they should be more immune to being used. And this is important because where you live, men should not be used. What is the incentive? She's strong, independent, don't need no man. Why does she use men? Why does she seek to do it? Rather, it's your daughter, your mother, your grandmother, your aunt, your lady cousin. Why? If she's strong, independent, don't need no man then she has no reason to do it. And if she's got no reason to do it, then she should want that her son, your relative, maybe your son, maybe your cousin, maybe your uncle even, maybe your nephew, your brother, would be up on this game because there's no reason for him to be used. I hope I made sense. I hope this was easy for you to follow. Thank you for listening. Black heart, black mind, black out. And as I usually say, assalamu alaikum and black heterosexual non-select male power because they don't like it. And black patriarchy until extinction or judgment day.